First of all, I need y'all to tap that button, the like button, like y'all would do a doorbell. Now, I know this title is going to stir some things up. I'm telling y'all right now, I do not care. YouTube, I got a topic. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your girl, DeAndre Michelle. If you are new here, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping videos. Now, for those of you who are just starting out, for those of you who are just starting out, um, I want to say this. Do not be anxious to post on social media. Find out what you want to do. Have a plan first. Have a plan first. What's the message you trying to convey? What is it that you want to do? Because your initial post is going to be what the platform pushes your content towards or what is going to gear you towards a specific audience and you'll be stuck. So now, I will say I'm partially responsible for my low social media followers. I was doing everything, everything up under the sun to get that million subscribers. Like, legit, I started out posting skits. That was cool. And then I went from skits to true crime. And that sparked a little bit. Like, I was even streaming on Twitch. Um, I was really never fulfilled doing these things, though. Um, and that's partially my fault. I was trying to find my niche, y'all. I really was. I was trying to find my way. Um, and so, because of all that, I still had a low social media following. And it was discouraging to me. And I decided I need to figure out what it is I really want to do. What it is I really want to be about. What it is, What what is my target audience. And so, I took a break. I finally figured out during this break what truly made me happy. Um, and so while I'm still currently in a still slow moving boat, and excuse me if I'm slurring my words, I got retainers the other day, and I'm still getting used to it, y'all, so please forgive me. I'm currently in a slow moving, a, a slow moving boat, but it's in God's time, you know what I'm saying? And I, I finally realized that I had to delete all my old content um, for them to start sending my content to my target audience. And it's a shame. You know what I'm saying? It's a shame because my specific realm right now is so saturated. Like, the market that I want to be in is saturated across all social media platforms. Um, but I don't let that deter me. You know what I'm saying? And so, to... To say all that is to say, I have reached out to every single company. Um, let me start over. So, a couple of months ago, I reached out to companies that are geared towards pushing the film industry forward. And they were, it was unprofessional emails, you know, and of course they didn't respond. And so, this year I took a different, a different route. I put my, my big girl draws on. And I sent corporate emails to people. And it was cool because some of them responded. And then the conversation's going good. I'm thinking things are about the things are about to pop off. And then they go with, oh yeah, send us your link to your social media. And I'm like, oh. here we go. Here we go. And then you know what happens after I send the link? You know what happens? Nothing. Radio silence. It's radio silence. I swear, if blocked on email was a person, it'd be me like this. <laughs> I swear, it'll be me. Now, I have seen on YouTube, there's a YouTuber, and I, I forget his name because I just recently came across his channel. Um, and he has like 2.5K followers. And he has brands reaching out to him. So that gives me some kind of hope. And hopefully it gives y'all some kind of hope when it comes to getting brand deals. If you just start now doing your YouTube or you start now doing the content that you want. Um, 
and of course you know i make i make videos for everybody but my videos i want to be geared towards uh filmmakers and people who are self-taught people who are just starting out and don't know adam from eve type of deal um so it's unfortunate when you are a um when you have a small following right because it can feel like you're shouting into a never-ending void. Like, literally, like, it's like you're shouting into a never-ending void. Uh, brands often look at numbers first. Please do not let nobody tell you that they don't because they absolutely do. It's the deciding factor for them. Um, and it, it's disheartening. It can be disheartening when you have great content, right? But the but not the numbers to back it up and let me show y'all a little of what i'm talking about they charged up but don't want steady hey nigga play the family have them dapping on my daddy hey diamonds moon walking like they sister name janet got these hoes want a candy hey smile this a photo hey i just see now here's the thing that i found numbers are not everything numbers are not everything I have come to learn that quality matters, engagement matters, and most importantly, your passion and authenticity matters. At the end of the day, I think that regardless, I'm going to keep doing what makes me feel good. I'm gonna, I'm going to continue to do what I think looks good. And I'm hoping that it'll start to produce the fruit of the seeds that I'm planting. You know, and I'm I'm planning. I, I I hope that God favors me enough to reach the goalposts, even if it's post by post. Um, so at the end of the day, hopefully this video has helped you. Please let me know now in the comments what it is that you do um, in the face of adversity. What do you do uh, when you have had a pushback? How do you feel about it? How does it make you feel down in them comments? And like I said before, please, y'all hit the subscribe button. It, it helps the channel grow. Hit the like button and turn on that bell so you know when I'm dropping videos. And here it is. That's all I got for y'all. And I hope that y'all enjoyed the video. Peace.